Yeah, just came out of that Florida Welcome Center. Pretty nice place. There's a lot of bugs out here already. I can definitely feel them going all in my damn face. Thought I was gonna park at the receiver. I got down there. They ain't have no parking. So I came down the road and I was gonna turn around and go to go to this little gas station that I stopped at earlier. But when I got down the road, since there ain't nothing else I need from that gas station, I seen this big parking lot and I decided to stay right here. So I thought I wanted to stay at the shipper so I could uh, maybe get some of these straps off and some of these bungees tonight, but I ain't going to be able to do it. So it looks like we're going to stay here tonight. It's all good. Hey, something I did want to show y'all though, man. Y'all uh, new drivers that watch me. This little bungee technique I got. If you see my bungees, all of my bungees are going straight down. See it right there? See how all the bungees, all the bungees are going straight down. Look, all you gotta do when you get ready to take your tarp off, all you gotta do, start at the front of the trailer, start at the front of the trailer, pop, pop it off, pop it off, pop it off, pop it off, pop it off. All the way down. You start at the front, pop it down. The only thing you gotta do then is walk, walk right back down this way and take them all off. It's a nice trick. Don't say I didn't teach y'all nothing. Early morning game. We're back at it. Ugh, man, horse fly. I haven't seen one of those things in forever. Fuck. That South Florida shit right there. Fucking horse fly. Anybody ever been bit by a horse fly? Shit hurts. Look at him, he's flying around here too. I know one thing. If you ever, if you ever uh like in a pool or something, oh uh, man, you ever in a pool? They like to land on your head while you're in a pool. Let me show y'all that bungee technique I was telling y'all about last night. Start at the front, take all of them off. Sometimes if you got some at the bottom, you know you gotta stop and get those off too. But it ain't I ain't got too many that's ran all the way to the bottom. Only a few. The majority of them is ran under the rub rail and back on top. So pop them all off, all the way down. All the way down. See that other PNS over there? The reason I moved from over there because it's a big ass mud puddle. And I wasn't about to be 
walking in that damn mud. <sighs> this motherfucker here. <sighs> okay. Now, we'll go back the other way and take them all out. See how easy that is? That's for all you, all you rookies. And, and all you old heads, if y'all if y'all don't do it the same way either. I figured this out some time ago. It's the fastest way to remove bungees. This is the fastest way to do it. All the way to the rear, all the way back to the front. And when I, when I bungee the load, I pretty much do it the same way. I hook them, I start at the front, I hang them all up. And then I walk to the back and come back and, uh, well, I start at the front, go to the back, hook them. Then I just make my way back to the front and hook them all up. And if you do this, if you do this the correct way, It won't take long. All you gotta do then, is pop that thing out. Look at that. See how it just falls out? Look at that. How long did that take? About three minutes. It didn't take long at all. I'm gonna get back to work. Tell y'all something crazy, man. So you know that place that I stayed at last night? I was in that big parking lot where the lake was at. When I got there, I, I walked around. I actually walked around that parking lot when I got there. And I seen, I was like, let me see if it's any, uh, no, no parking signs out here. And so I didn't see none. So I um ended up staying the night there, yeah, as y'all already know. I was doing a live video sitting in the parking lot. So, I was asleep, I was asleep, man, around, I would say around two, maybe like around 2.30, 3 o'clock, I heard somebody knocking on my door. I'm like, what the fuck going on? And so I hopped up, looked out my driver door, this is a Spanish guy out there. He was like, yo, you can't park here. I was like, all right. I didn't think nothing of it. So, first thing I did was looked at my clock. I looked at my clock. I said, look, I said, uh, but he walked off. He walked off and shit when I when I said, all right. And so I looked at my clock and I had like eight hours, 20 some minutes uh, off duty. My 10 hour break wasn't complete. And so when I was sitting in my driver's seat, I looked over to my right side. I seen another PNS truck. So another PNS truck seen me over there and pulled up in the middle of the night. And so uh, I seen him with his lights on. And he was sitting in the driver's seat. And then he came over to me and he was like, um, yo, you know anywhere else you can park at? And I was like, yeah, matter of fact, it's a gas station not far from here. Cause I said something about that too in my live video. Cause I, I had stopped at the gas station yesterday. And uh, I, I told him how to get there. He didn't come in the same way I did. drink water so I told him about it and he had, he had just started his 10 hour break so he was like you know what he, he couldn't sit there for as long as I was gonna sit there I was like you know what man I ain't moving till I finish my break I was like uh if he want to call the cops he called the cops I'm gonna, uh, and this this is at that point in time so I laid back down went back to sleep about an hour later knock on the boom 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 woke up same guy I'm pissed off now. I said, look, man, my clock ain't reset yet 10 hours. I said, when my clock finished resetting, I, I move off the property. This guy actually hopped up on my step with a flashlight and shined it on my clock <laughs> to see for himself that, 
that I was that I really needed 10 hours. I needed like 40 more minutes at that point. And he was like, all right, 40 more minutes, you gotta go. I said, all right. So this this point in time, it's probably like four in the morning, around that time. I, I didn't really go back to sleep because he woke me up. And so I said, let me get on, I said, let me get on Google real quick and see where the hell I'm at. So I went on Google, uh, put, pinpointed my location to see where I was at. I was at Polk County uh, waste, waste Removal or something. That explains the trash trucks that y'all seen on my live video when I walked by and there was some some trash trucks out there. So I, I looked it up on Google and I was like, you know, this is a county, I'm like, this is a county parking lot. This county, this belongs to the county, Polk County, Florida. I'm like, who the fuck is this guy to tell me I can't park right here? He's not, I'm like, man, fuck this dude, man. Fuck this motherfucker. <laughs> so, so uh, man, I said, man, fuck that. I'm going back to sleep. This motherfucker came back again. The sun was coming up now. It's like six o'clock. When he came back that time, I asked him, I said, brother, do you own this property? He said, uh, he was like, what? I said, I said, do you own this property? I said, this property belong to you or does it belong to the county? He was like, I'm, I'm the manager here. I was like, look, man, this ain't your property, man. This property belongs to the county. So I was like, look, if you want to call the sheriff, you call the sheriff and tell the sheriff I got to move. I said, man, I, I didn't get no sleep last night because you keep banging on my damn door. I said, I'm going back to sleep. He walked off. I went back to sleep. Guess what? I woke up at 7.30. Guess what? No police officer ever came. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, these, these folks is crazy, man. This big-ass parking lot. I'm, I'm, and the reason I parked in the corner of the parking lot is because I knew that you know, you don't when you go in a parking lot like that. You know, you don't want to park in the center because you wake up the next morning, might be surrounded by cars and stuff like that. So I parked all the way off to the side where I wasn't in the way of nobody. And man, it wasn't nobody in that parking lot. Nobody. I seen trash trucks coming in and out. You know, I ain't, I ain't knocking y'all trash trash truck drivers or whatever. But you know. A lot, a lot of them guys only had CDLs. You, the guy driving it might have a CDL, but the guy riding on the back, he probably don't have a CDL. Yeah, so I definitely ain't knocking y'all, man. But really, what I'm trying to say is, man, people sometimes people need to act, need act, act your wage. Don't act, your, act your wage. I was not. Tell me, if if you in a position, if you a manager at a trash disposal company, you don't own this fucking property, man. This this shit is owned by the county so in that case if a sheriff comes out there okay a, a sheriff works for the a sheriff come out there and be like look sir you need to move your truck that'd be a different story and that's what i told the guy because when he when i told him that i had to finish my 10 hour break and he said something about calling the police i said look you call the police i'm gonna tell the officer the same thing i gotta finish my 10 hour break and i'm pretty sure that the officer wouldn't have said nothing this small town i don't know how, what's the population here of maybe five, ten thousand people. This big ass park lot, man, like, man, shut the fuck up, man. Go back and fuck count the damn trash cans or some shit. <laughs> okay, I'm done with that. So yeah, I'm getting unloaded right now. Other PNS driver. There's another PNS driver here in front of me. The other PNS driver that parked in the parking lot beside me last night and moved when I was coming up here this morning, I seen him pulled over uh, in a little in another little parking area. So when I got here, it was another PNS driver here. And he's over there on this side, and he's already finished. I see him pulling out right now. So hopefully, I'll be finishing about 10, 15 more minutes, and I'm gonna go ahead and hit the uh, head up the road to Jacksonville and see what's gonna pop up from there. But now, it's time to get out of Florida. Flatbed game. Last one. We about out of here. Let me go put this dunnage up. On to the next one, gang. We out.